What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It is your boy, that guy, the giant dude here. And from the title of this video, you probably noticed, and over the past couple of weeks, I literally have not been playing Call of Duty. I hopped on today just to get this gameplay background uh, so that we can talk about Call of Duty and where it went wrong. And for me personally, why I just don't enjoy it anymore. Um, but before we even start with that, I still want to say that like when season three comes out i'm gonna give it a try and tell you guys what i think but call of duty has gotten so far from what call of duty was which was a fps shooter you know a fast-paced fps shooter back in the day uh you were able to run around you had perks you have felt like a super soldier right and i don't know what dev was butthurt and why they are making the changes they are but it seems like any type of skill gap they want to destroy and that's like the number one thing um skill-based matchmaking and call of duty I, it's okay whatever you want to protect the lower bracket players okay i get it but why do you want to punish the higher bracket players right we all want to run around have fun play the game and you guys remove perks like you, you remove perks to like an overwatch system like uh, i don't even know that like uh, just uh, i don't even know what system it is what were you thinking like what happened to specialist bonus what happened to going on like if we want to choose a kill streak or a score streak or become that kill streak or score streak what happened to that like why are we removing that from call of duty to this system to where you slowly have to get your perks and stuff like the system wasn't broken why try to reinvent it nobody likes it perks are what made call of duty call of duty why are we nerfing the kill streaks like why what how is it that my harrier that i call in my VTOL that i call in when it gets shot down which it doesn't take much by the way when it gets shot down why does he kill me or has the potential to kill me what why is it when I get into a helicopter that I've earned, a, a chopper gunner that I've earned, it gets shot down really fast? Why? There, there, there's no reason for that uh, other than you don't want people to earn kill streaks. You don't want people to earn score streaks or become the score streak or kill streak. Like, what? Yeah, you put a nuke in the game, but. What's the point of even going for it? It's not, doesn't even feel rewarding when you get it. Like, who cares? Like, when I'm on, like, that juggernaut, when I'm on, like, not even that juggernaut, when I'm on, like, my specialist bonus back in MW3, man, there was no other feeling in the world. I felt on top of the world, man. I was able to run around because I earned it. All the kills I was earning, I was able to have all the perks, become the super soldier. Modern Warfare 2 2022 what what happened there like you guys are taking away the things that make call of duty fun and you're just taking it away there there's no fun in call of duty anymore that's why so many people are leaving like the one fun thing that we had over the past couple of years the recent call of duties was like some sort of movement and you've taken that away like i'm not saying that slide canceling needs to come back but we have to have some sort of movement that's what makes it fun and before you say oh newt you're you're playing in csgo like there's no movement in that game there's different mechanics in csgo that you can't even compare there's different things that happen in csgo that you can't even compare to call of duty it's not even close csgo has movement have you ever seen someone that mastered movement in csgo those guys are nutty okay but there's nothing like that in Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a first-person, fast, action-paced shooter that, what? It's not even, dude, it's not even fun. And uh, if you guys made it uh, this far in the video, I am actually streaming other games over on Kick, uh, the new streaming service. I'll post a link down in the description below if you guys want to follow me over there. Lately, I've been playing Diablo and having a blast having a blast, just chilling, playing, having fun. That's all I really care about. I just want to have fun in the game. And lately, first-person shooters really haven't been doing that for me. I've been having fun in uh, Apex. I was having fun in Apex. I've been having a ton of fun in CSGO because there is a skill gap. There's something to grind for. I am now three. I'm almost back to Global Elite on uh, CS. If I get to Supreme, you know, I'm happy. Um, but literally, I went from uh, GM to 
L.E.M. or L.E. Legendary Eagle in like two days because I used to be global and kind of know how CS works. You know what I mean? Play ESTA, face it. I guess you can say I was like semi-pro because I played on a team eight, nine years ago. Call of Duty right now is just not fun. It's just not fun. And um, I only play games that I have fun. I want to provide tips and tricks for you guys. But, like, the interest in Call of Duty right now, all-time low, man. All-time low. Nobody cares about Call of Duty. Nobody cares about a skillless game. We need to have a skill gap. Like, literally, we need to have a skill gap. There needs to be skill and Call of Duty in order for it to thrive, to have fun, because no one wants to play a skillless game. And before you say, oh, Newt, what about like Diablo? What about like all these other ARPG um, games that you're playing right now? There's skill in it, but you're grinding for something. You're grinding to get better gear. You're grinding to get higher world tiers. You're grinding to, you know, get that one piece that you're waiting for in order to uh, upgrade and do just a massive amount of damage so you can push higher tier content. That's like what you're doing. There is a skill in there. That's why people play it. That's why it's fun maximizing and itemizing your gear. I just can't see the same thing for Call of Duty. There's really nothing going on right now. And don't get me wrong, when Season 3 comes out, I might play it a little bit. I will give you know tips and tricks on Call of Duty, even though there's not much in here uh, on the game. Just because, you know, I made this channel off of Call of Duty. But things are slowly changing, and I hope you guys will stick with me with for the ride. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what games are you guys playing. Like, it's so campy right now, dude. Like, I just, I don't get it. Why does it take forever for me to pull up my uh, Dead Silence? Why Why is there an animation? Why is there a beeping noise? Like, just let me press it and let me go. Like, let me fly. Like, why isn't that a thing? I've been hearing rumors about Season 3. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I just, I don't think it's going to uh, do anything. Maybe the next Call of Duty will uh, have something better, go back to what we were used to. Hopefully, I don't know. As always, guys, remember to stay blessed and stay humble. I wanted to do this video um, just to let you know like where my headspace is at when it comes to Call of Duty and when it comes to uh, playing the game. As always, guys, I'll catch you in another video. Peace.